All right, what's up, Sunners? Welcome to another local band, Smoka. I'm your host, is High the Most BG. Today, we're actually doing an album review for Slanderous, who just dropped the Absorbing Infinity album, brand new. They're out of Southern California for fans of Iron Maiden, Disturbed, and Rush. I get a little bit of a Rush on um, uh, influence on this one. Progressive metal band Slanderous can be found at, at Slanderous on Facebook and just about everything else. Uh, if you've never seen me do an album review before, I've got all my notes right here. I've already jammed the entire thing from start to finish. Eight tracks right here. We've got notes for each one. I'm going to read those notes before we play about 45, 50 seconds, maybe a little longer of each song. The goal is if you enjoy it, you guys go support the band. Uh, hit the follow button on, on Spotify, YouTube, whatever you can do, and possibly even purchase the album, some merch. That'd be amazing. Um, at the very end, I get my pros and cons, list my favorite songs, and then we give a score. So without further ado, Slanderous, Observing Infinity. Track one is Tectonic Plates. Wrote down intro track, very dramatic vocals. The mix sounds really good. Bass and guitar tones sound really good. Elements of thrash and hardcore at times. I really like the background vocals that go, ah, like a certain part. Um, basically like a choir kind of thing. Uh, really, really dope solo. And overall, just a great opening track. This is Tectonic Plates of the Absorbing Infinity album. See what I mean with the dramatic vocals? Yeah, there's a lot of crazy solos throughout on uh, this entire album. Track two, the title track, Absorbing Infinity. Uh, it feels a little more aggressive in the beginning of this one. Has a fun riff and groove to it throughout the entire song. Could be a possible single right here. I like the screaming section in the middle. Um, there's so many different melodies happening throughout the entire song. You really got to pay attention to hear them all. Uh, another dope solo with a really, really heavy outro. The title track, track two, Absorbing Infinity. I was gonna skip around. If, you, if I sit here and play the whole, the whole song of each track, you're just sitting me nod in my head for 40 minutes. Like Choke late. This, uh, this heavy outro.
Hell yeah, that's cool, cool screaming part right there. Uh, Cobra Kai is actually track three. Cobra Kai has a little bit of a different feel and sound to the other tracks that we've heard so far and what's going to be coming up. Um, it has more of like an 80s metal kind of influence on it. Uh, like, although there is a lot of 80 metal, little bit, 80s metal influence throughout Slanderous, this one in particular stands out almost, almost kind of like a sore thumb, but in a good way. Um, could literally be a track for the TV show. Uh, it's really, really catchy. I think you guys are going to like it. Um, and then, then it has my favorite solo yet up to this point. Track three, Cobra Kai. We're hanging out. Listen to Slanders Absorbing Infinity. Album review. It's so it, it just sticks out really well with the uh, it's just catchy and I feel like that could be used in the TV show um, and it just matches like the era of the show too, like the style of the song. So I think that's a, a clever uh, and a cool a cool track that they did right there. Track four, find your lifeline. Cool guitar tones to start. Nice break from the rest of the album so far. It has cool vocal tricks throughout the verses. This is one that has like a real like rush kind of vibe to me um, and definitely in certain spots of it. At other spots though, it has a little bit of a disturbed kind of vibe. Uh, very cool outro. And then I put single number two, question mark, find your lifeline. <laughs> Yeah, the solos are just absolutely wicked on this CD, by the way. Uh, track five, which is Omen, which is the longest track so far on it. And I think uh, it's so far, so it's the second longest track. Um, <clears throat> the bass sounds so good on this one. Uh, very punk meets like an anti-political kind of vibe to the song. Uh, good, solid, strong riffs throughout. And of course, yet another awesome, excellent guitar solo. Excellent. This is Omen, track five.
such cool like guitar harmonies right there almost like some uh some iron maiden for sure espiritu track six very cool tones and vocal style in the beginning uh heavy tone but then gentle vocals to start which is kind of cool uh it has a really chunky fat break um about the about the halfway through section and then a very drastic change leading to another dope solo espiritu into your espiritu I go. Hey, that's chunky, nasty tone. But like normally you'd you'd think there'd be like really heavy vocals over a tone like that, but I like how they do like the opposite. Let's see if we can find that change. Yeah, right here. This is a cool little change spot. how it gets all heavy again at that last part there to like outro it uh track seven a small sacrifice uh this one is the shortest song on the the entire cd it has a, a softer vibe than the rest of the tracks really dope bass riffs nice prelude to lead to the final track but it, and then it has some really cool hi-hat spots You'll see what I mean in a second. Track seven, A Small Sacrifice. Guys, if you're enjoying what you're hearing, please go to facebook.com slash slanderous, support them, or go right here on their Spotify. Hit the follow button. Let's help them get their numbers up. They definitely, definitely deserve it. Track seven, A Small Sacrifice. Sacrifice, definitely their ballad uh, on the album, which is cool. You got to have a little variety, you know. It can't just all be uh, just metal songs. Well, they can be, but it's just cool that they have a little variety in there. Track eight, which is the last one, Absolution. Uh, it has a very huge intro. Um, it, it has kind of like a disturbed vibe throughout of it. Throughout it, uh, it has a really cool solo mid song, fun, fast paced breakup to pick up the second half of the song, and then there's a really cool huge break that happens. Um, and then final riffs, outro part is dope. That's what it says. Final, the final riffs to outro the whole song. Really, really cool parts. This is track eight, Absolution off the Absorbing Infinity album. Such a big 
field. So lots of like vocal things that he does in the song is what reminded me of uh, David from Destroyed. Like all the strings and stuff they added, all the cool strings and stuff. So yeah, that's it. That's the those are the eight tracks right there. Let's go ahead and do the pros and the cons. The pros, I really like the dramatic vocals throughout. It's very theatrical in in his vocal style, which I thought is cool. Uh, there's some really really cool uh, riffs and solos throughout it. It reminds me a lot of like a Judas Priest Iron Maiden hybrid sometimes at certain parts. Um, which is these are all pros. The cons, I thought there could have been a couple more tracks that are time length, like Small Sacrifice and Cobra Kai. I just feel like some songs, especially the ones that I thought could have been the singles, just tend, tend to be like a little bit too long to be a single. Uh, that's that's neither here or there. I have to find cons. Um, and then the only other thing I wrote down was the snare sound at times in track two, which is the Absorbing Infinity self-titled, uh, was like bother me in some spots. Um, I don't know. Sometimes when I do these, I, I do it late at night with headphones on and I can hear stuff differently than when I play it back here. And I didn't necessarily hear it here on these speakers, but I could hear something in the headphones that was bothering me with the snare on track two. Anyway, those are the only cons I have. My favorite songs were Find Your Lifeline, Espiritu and Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai is awesome. It's my favorite track on the whole thing. If I were you guys, I would 100% try and figure out a way to get that song, that song to Netflix. Maybe they can just work it in an episode or something. But hey, that's a fat paycheck and definitely um, some people would discover you guys. I don't know if that's possible, but try. Overall, that is going to round up to an eight. 0.7 out of 10, which is still a very, very, very respectable score. I, I would definitely recommend you guys check this out, not only for the track Cobra Kai, which is my favorite, but um, definitely for all the solos that happen on the guitar. There's a really, really cool guitar stuff going on. But then you've got to just uh, appreciate the vocal style. The vocal style is such a theatrical, like 80s style that's just not that common right now in modern music. So I thought that was really cool at slanderous on facebook please go like their page and support them especially if you enjoyed this they're out of southern california they play all the time in the area um and yeah that was the absorbing infinity album review guys if you ever want me to do this something like this for your band go to localbandsmokeout.com click the submit your music tab explain everything that you need to know if you happen to be watching on youtube please hit the subscribe button and or the bell <laughs> You remember some episode EP album review or interview we uploaded of which we have over 3200 of those things and four times a week I throw a party Monday through Thursday 4 20 p.m. Pacific time twitch.tv slash local band smoke out please join us if you can we always have guests prizes punishment and trivia and we give away a ton of free stuff over there other than that I am your host who's high the most BG saying cheers keep blazing Smoke weed every day. Peace.